Hi, my name is Tara, and we are going to visit a little boutique right in Charleston called Mason Hosker. My friend Danielle is the designer. We're going to go over her new line and spring collection. One of the most common questions I get asked is, what am I supposed to wear to this wedding? We are going to go over what to wear to parties. Hello! Danielle! It's so good to see you! Nice to see you! Uh -huh. I always have my mother, the bride, ask me, what should we wear Friday night? What should we wear Saturday? So I'm excited to get your feedback on maybe the etiquette of what to wear to weddings and what to wear to a cocktail party. I can't wait to show you the collection. I have a surprise. I have yep. some models here that I would love for you to Ooh. see in some of the pieces. It, in mm -hmm. action. In action. <gasps> would you like to do it? Would you like to sit down and see? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, let's I do it. The new boutique is beautiful. Thank you. I mean, the space is, it's kind of perfect. Ah, oh, thank you. And I love that this is all about parties, because life is a party, right? It is, life yes, is a party. absolutely. And you are designing dresses from everything, from garden parties to luncheons to cocktail parties, all the way to your new collection, even including bridal. What made you say, I am going to design dresses? for parties. Oh, Tara, I was literally waking up in the middle of the night designing dresses in my head. Mm -hmm. I had been a dancer all my life uh -huh. and transitioned into the interiors world and was sourcing beautiful fabrics from all over the world that we could not use in the interiors world. Just needed to be like, okay, I've done it creatively, let it go and moving on. And it just spiraled and took off oh. and here we are. Oh. Now, moving forward with a bridal collection. Well, thank goodness. What are you gonna show me first? Garden party. <laughs> Garden party. Yes. Well, we do live in Charleston. We, we have do. lots of gardens. Okay, so first out, we have Sarah, and she's going to come in. This is just a fun party dress, and we Ooh. have piping at the sleeves, and I'm a big pocket girl for <gasps> Kleenexes and lipstick oh, and cell yes. phones, should they be needed. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully not. But if we oh, dance I the night it. away, we have some nice lining, so it kind of goes with the whole mood of the dress. I love it, and I love the satin. It, it kind of dresses it up more. It does. So based on jewelry, it could be dressier even, I mean, you can even turn this into a cocktail dress for late night. Yes, and next we have Alexa in our green James dress. We have horse hair in the bottom, so when she moves, you just have a little bit of movement, and just a little pop of gold, and exposed gold zipper in the back. I love this for garden. If you have like great sandals, wedges, based on the shoes. Yes. Shoes alone would change this dress. These are both even really great rehearsal dinner dresses. Absolutely. Don't you think? Absolutely. Just Do. getting better and better. I hope so. This is one of my favorite parts. This is evening wear. And so first out we have Miss Sarah again. And she is in our high-low Emerson dress. This dress has been seen on the red carpet. Oh my gosh, it's fabulous. Isn't it beautiful? <gasps> the metallic sheens under the I love light. the high-low. Um, I love the pockets. The I love pockets the V-neck. The V is very You know what, great. it looks comfortable. Is it comfortable, Sarah? I okay. mean. Our construction, oh, again, that couture construction where we'll do the face fabric underneath. For me, that's such a moment, and I want to see that gorgeous fabrication underneath. under there as well. And it shows off the leg. I'm very much about accentuating what we have as a female that's gorgeous about us and maybe distracting about some of the things that uh -huh. I don't necessarily love about my softer parts like as we knees. get older. <laughs> like knees? Knees. knees. Uh, I love that it covers knees. Uh, it's really great looking. It's sexy but yet appropriate. What are other Tara do nots for dressing for events as a guest? As a guest. Well, I'm not sure what the new thing is where you're wearing dresses that are at your panty line. Of are they short? split up no, to here? No, they're they showing. Or that short. And then. Why? Very, very short, which I do not think is appropriate for a wedding. And then the other style thing that's no. kind of popular is showing the, um, the belly. And I know that it could be stylish and fabulous, but I don't think that's very appropriate for a wedding. Of course, never to wear white. Never. Of course. And I'm still not one that loves black for wedding. Everyone's, you know, it's the most happy day of this woman's life, and I feel like black, you should be going to a funeral. And then the only other thing is maybe when a guest is wearing a dress, it's see-through. 
I did have a dress um, uh, at a wedding of mine this past summer, and the woman wore a dress that literally I saw everything underneath. Oh, sheer, like, why? and it was sheer all in the wrong places. Well, in the probably the right places, but not for the wedding. The hardest person to dress, I think, for our weddings are the mothers. And they are always struggling because the dresses that are out there are either A, too old or too young. And they're usually in their 50s and 60s and they always look amazing and they wanna, they wanna be young but they don't wanna wear anything inappropriate young, but yet they don't wanna wear old lady dresses. So I think this is a market where you hit the nail on the head, which I love your things for this. I think that the mother of the bride should pick their dress first. Oh, I love and that. And then they always want them to kind of blend with the bridesmaid dresses so they kind of go with them. They don't want to compete, but yet they want to blend, but yet go together, not clash. But it's just, I think, the way of the world it should be because I think the mother of the bride is, you know, the mother of the bride. Yeah, she right? is. She's the you agree special. With Absolutely. Okay. This is her wedding as well. All right, good. Okay, so Olivia is coming out next. Right. And this is our Kennedy dress, our popped collar Kennedy. Mm. It's a high low, and again, we did the horse hair in the bottom. So the movement is everything in this dress. And that moment where she wants to walk down the aisle, this is her walk. She's waited all her life to walk down this aisle. I love it. You would look beautiful walking down the aisle with that on. I'd be a proud mother. Ah. Now we're gonna see some of the bridal pieces. This is oh my. a mixed media dress. Oh my. So definitely some gold metallic in there with the Duchess satin and hand beading at the waist oh my with gosh. a little bit of tool. Oh my. And pockets. So oh a very my. Romanesque dress. For I us. love the little, is this like a little tool around yes. that just soften around the neck? Yes. And oh at the gosh. waist. And so you the just gold. Have a moment. It's like a hand painted piece. It is. And there's creams in there and beige. Oh my gosh, it's, just... it's like it's hand painted. <laughs> and then we have Olivia and our Harlow. And this is a more simple, but Duchess satin. And we did the lining where it's a peekaboo lining, but the lining can be taken up where we don't have to see it. But when she walks, it has a beautiful moment. And again, oh, you just I have a more. I love it. It's a throwback to that vintage, gilded, yes. Hollywood Regency yes. age, for sure. Which is my favorite. Yes! Oh, makes me so this happy. is so amazing! Oh, I have the bride that I'm sending over tomorrow. <laughs> and this <gasps> is our James dress. Oh my gosh. Again, with the horse hair, so we have a lot of shape when she moves, the exposed gold. This is to die for. This might be my favorite. I love the sleeves, I love the neckline, I love the collar. Look how you can dance. Look at that skirt. It's a good skirt. Oh my it gosh, moves. that is a dancing dress. I really love it for a bridesmaid luncheon. I, I yes. mean, if you yes. want to be dressy and be the star of your show that day as well, of course you are. You are. But yeah. um, that could be so pretty for a bridesmaid luncheon. I'm obsessed. Love it. Okay, I'll take that one too. <laughs> Your pieces are truly magical. I'm really, um, you will be very successful. Thank you. I predict. That means the world I mean, coming from such an amazing oh, lady. Well, I don't we know about that, love. but I mean, really, truly, uh, it's been a lovely, lovely experience. And I, I really appreciate you taking the time to show me your new collection and show me your pieces. And I love to see how passionate about the details you are. Because oh, it's all you. in the details. Mm -hmm. Thank you, you Daniel. Thank you, Miss Tara.